Yeah, I mean, if you look at our roster over the last while, we've had a lot of new guys coming in um, down from the American League and stuff like that. So I think getting the chemistry down pat with the new guys who were here and then they were up for a while. Um, focusing on D-zone work, which has been an issue lately for us. Um, everyone buying in and, and doing the right, you know, systems and stuff like that. So today we focus on a lot of D-zone work. Tomorrow's more offensive than special teams on Thursday. Uh, well, you kind of touched on what the next question here is. Given the frost, it's the... I can't talk to you. I'm sorry. Give it the... Sorry. <laughs> Take three. Give it... Yeah, thank God. Is there a blooper reel or what? <laughs> um, this is why I'm not on the air. Yeah. Given, that, given that the Thomas roster, you guys haven't played together for a while as a unit, how do you mesh players that were returning from the a AHL with the other players of the roster? How do you mesh it all together? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's why it's a, a week of practice before playoff starts. I mean, you get the guys back, the guys back into rhythm down here with the guys they were playing with before, uh, lines that worked before, the combinations that worked. Um, and, you know, you get to see who, who, who meshes with who, uh, the deep pairings. Um, you know, we have a couple D coming back in, uh, forwards coming back in too. So, you know, we, we did pretty well before when, before all the guys got called up and stuff. And, uh, you know, the guys who came in the, uh, sorry, the guys came in the roster into the lineup, um, they really did well for us down the stretch too. So, you know, we have a really good roster here. And if, uh, if anything happens, guys who are sitting now can just jump right in. So, you know, you guys played uh, Cincinnati 10 times in the regular season. So what can you take away or use from playing them so so much this year. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think we were, I think we were split five and five with them this year. I mean, we know they're really opportunistic. They have really good shooters on their team. You know, Jack Downing, I think, led the, the league in goals. Um, you know, they're really good offensive defensemen there. So if we can try and keep a third guy high, keep him off the odd man rushes, I think uh, we'll be all right. So um, what's the biggest key then to winning on Friday night? I think we got to come out hard and, and strong right away. You know, uh, we, we we got the home ice um, all year, winning our division. You know. Uh, you know, that's what you need coming into playoffs. You know, if you set a good home ice, um, you know, it goes a long way, especially uh, if every round we get four against their three. Um, you know, come out hard the first game, set the tempo at home. Um, you know, it, they, like they have a lot of small offensive D who are really good skaters. Uh, if we could limit to them in their D zone, you know, kind of pin them against the wall and work them down low, um, you know, get shots through, get traffic to the net. You know, I think that's going to be a key success for us. And this is related to that last question. What do you think is the biggest key to winning the entire series? Like I said, you know, they're, they're a really offensive team, a lot of small D. Um, they got big guys, but I think uh, we're, we're a really physical decor. We got some big D, um, mobile D as well. Um, our forwards are really physical too. So I think if we can dominate them in the physical aspect of the game, um, like I said, limit, them, limit their odd man rushes, um, you know, let them have shots on the outside, let our goalies see the first shot, box out, stuff like that, I think we'll be all right. And is there anything you want to add that I may miss in asking you? No, I think we, I think we nailed it all. All right, sounds good. All right. Thank you.